Hello, 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 everyone. Um, today is May 13th, and it's my birthday. My birthday. Sorry. I lost my voice a few weeks ago. Like, I woke up, and I could not talk. And then, like, the next day, I could talk, but it could only be, like, a low register. And I couldn't, I couldn't sing. <laughs> I lost my singing voice. I was panicked. I couldn't sing. I could, um, and then, like, a few days after that, like, some notes would come out but only low notes like low tony braxton notes or something and i my voice box will not register any of my high notes right now so i'm trying to doctor my voice back to health right now so if you hear some breaking my words that's why but hi guys i made it to 34 yes 34 years old today and i'm sitting in my car i know i haven't posted a video in like forever <laughs> I have it. It's sometimes it's hard to keep up with stuff like this. Like I'm not like a YouTuber, YouTuber. You know how some people are just like diehard YouTubers and they can post every day. Like you know, I be forgetting. So I'm sorry. Um, I just want to do wanted to do a quick update. Um, I'm still with Panther. I am driving expedited for Panther, and um, I was solo with Panther um, starting out. But right now I am teaming. The reason why I started teaming is because my fleet owner hit me up and was like, hey, the government is offering team drivers only um, extra pay if you pick up CDC loads and deliver them. And it's guaranteed pay whether you have a load or not. So I was like, oh, okay, I can get down with that. So um, I was like, I'll do it as long as I can get my homegirl to come and do it. Um, she's the person who i teamed with when i first started trucking i started teaming first so she was the one me and her are used to each other we vibe well i was like if i can get her on then i'll do it but if not i'll remain solo because i just i don't prefer teaming like i gotta know you and i know her and so she was able to get through um kind of seamlessly actually and we started teaming soon it was soon as it was time for her because they flew her she's from colorado and they flew her to me I'm in Florida. So soon um, as it was time for us to start teaming, boom, the CDC stopped the loads. Like there were no more. So we was like, really? <sighs> so we was like, okay, we'll go ahead and team. Maybe it'll still be a little lucrative. So right now during this pandemic, oh, and by the way, I pray everybody is safe. Um, I have personally been affected. I do know um, some people who have actually passed from this <sighs> coronavirus, COVID-19 thing. Um, so I just pray that everybody's out there safe, you know, use precaution, hand sanitizers, mask, you know, as much as the mask can do. I don't, you know, I'm not too sure about those masks, like they doing anything, but, you know, just take the extra precaution to be clean and, you know, stay from around people if you don't have to be. But, um, yeah, this, this, this whole thing, all the, the freight rates are very low, you know, so they're not paying. And I'm just like, man, the miles are there on the lows, but they don't pay anything. And you know, when you're teaming, you split, you split profit. So it's just like, it's not working. So I said, okay, I'll give it a month. Cause it hasn't been a month yet that we've been, we've only been doing this for like two weeks. So it's pretty new. So I was like, I'll give it a month. If this is not trending up uh, because they told us that, you know, manuf manufacturing is going to start opening you know, around the 18th of May and going forward is going to trend up. And I'm just like, okay, I'm going to I'm gonna look. But if at the end of this month, it's not trending up already, then I'm going to go back solo because I was making great money, you know, solo. You know, I was making great money. I was happy with it. Um, I wasn't stressed because I just haven't been, you know, I find that driving Panther, which is expedited, has not been, you know, stressful. I don't have to run 600 miles every shift you know it's comfortable i have a little bit of time i was making good money that i was very happy with and now i'm not very happy with this i feel like hey if i'm teaming then i should be making <laughs> should be making more money like come on now so i just feel like whatever i was making solo i'm just splitting with somebody and i'm just like for what you know so i'm gonna but i keep t um talking to my the fleet owner, their dispatch team, and they're just like, you know, you know, um, um, from our experience, teaming is very profitable for the teams. You know, it's just 
all of what's going on. So I'm going to give it a little time. I'm not going to be in a hurry. I, you know, I'm patient or whatever, which is cool because my teammate, she, um, she's, she still has to get the process of everything, you know? So, you know, I'm teaching her and let her get cool with it because when we break, we both going solo. So she's going to need to know that anyway. And I don't mind teaching. So, you know, I'm going to do that, but baby <laughs> if it does not trend up soon i'm look i can't i can't be out here working for free working backwards like mm -mm. so that's what's going on um i still very much enjoy panther i really do you know all this that i just talked about aside i still very much enjoy panther um i don't regret going with them i like them better than when i was with prime um it's just is is very different is very different it's a lot less stressful um i feel like i'm more in control of my schedule and i feel like i have a lot more freedom and you ha i do have a lot more responsibility because it's less scrutinizing you know it's less um it's more because i have to negotiate on my loads i didn't have to do that with panther you just get what they give you <laughs> which i i actually enjoy i like being able to negotiate on my loads you know if they send me a load and, and say it pays this i'll be like you know well i can do it for this you know if they were like oh i can't only go this high I'm like okay can we meet at this you know you, you make it comfortable for you make it worthwhile for you and then you also ask for the accessorials the detention the layover anything you know you negotiate the tolls all of that so i actually learned how to do that with this company which i really like because it also turned into because with um expediting i find that they work best Monday through Friday. If you don't have a load already scheduled out for you um, by Friday, you know, nine times out of 10, you might be sitting over the weekend. And so that happened to me a couple of times. And me, I'm pretty much a go-getter. You know, <laughs> I found out how to look for my own loads because I do have the liberty to do that as well. I found out how to look for my own loads. So I was speaking with brokers and negotiating loads and, and taking loads and you know so that i won't be sitting over the weekend because i don't like i don't like that i need i'm out here to make money you know i don't mind running i don't mind staying out for a couple months at a time like i like to run you know because i like to make money i got some goals that i'm trying to take care of so that's what i'm trying to do but um what else um, i'm trying to think of some questions that you guys have because you guys have been <laughs> You guys have been posting questions for me and i know that it's been a long time i'm sorry i'm so sorry <laughs> um i even got po uh, questions like will i sing another song i wish i could guys i promise you i wish i could but my voice is not it's not it's not cooperating right now i can only sing uh tony braxton <laughs> i can only sing low stuff i can sing men's songs um I'm not even supposed to be talking as much as I'm, I am now or at an elevated tone anyway. So let me mellow it back down. But um, I'm just excited today. Uh, I'm going to try to post more videos. I also want to do a video of like a slideshow or whatever of all the places that I've been. You know, I've seen some really cool things. And I'm very excited because I'm still, you know, seeing this country. This country is still beautiful, you know, in spite of what's going on. It's really beautiful and I am really enjoying it i just came from weed california I had never heard of weed california it sounds funny <laughs> weed california but what it is is this small town that's sitting right in front of this huge dormant volcano mount shasta it was beautiful oh my god it was huge we were right in front of we parked right in front of it. it's huge i got pictures i went to the salt flats in utah I got pictures and videos i just want to do like a slideshow thing of what um what i've seen this far and um i like seeing videos like that you know truckers we get to go through some routes that people will never see in their lives so i don't know i'm trying to get back to oregon because i want to go down um what what's it I don't know the roads you know I should memorize these roads and stuff these routes that I'm going on but I don't I'm so bad at that I guess I don't get to go on them often enough to memorize all of these roads and stuff but I'm terrible with it because if somebody asks me oh have you ever rode on I-70 eastbound going on I'm like um 
can you tell me like a landmark over there and I can tell you if I saw it? <laughs> That's how I am. I'm, I'm terrible with it. I'm terrible with memorizing stuff like that. But like while I'm driving, you know, to kind of clock where I am in case something happens and I need to call, I know what to tell them. I know what to tell them where I am. But down the road, I won't, I won't, I won't memorize. <laughs> I won't memorize anything. So I don't know. Because as many times, like for instance, as many times as I've been, um, into Atlanta, I was talking to my homegirl, and she was like, you know, on 285, or, I don't even know if that's really, you know, a highway in Atlanta, I think it is, is it 75, 275, I don't know, <laughs> but she was like, you know, over there on two, whatever, and I'm just like, what, <laughs> I think so, she was like, as many times as you've been to Atlanta driving and dropping, like, you have it, I'm like, no, nope, it's probably in my GPS history, I can check and see it, <laughs> <laughs> but um that's about it guys if you have any other questions let me know i will i promise i will post videos um earlier i will oh not earlier more often more frequently i also just made it to um just over a thousand subscribers so that's pretty cool guys because I really, when I, you know, started putting these videos, these videos, I'm like, nobody gonna watch these, like, for real. <laughs> but, you know, a few of y'all chime in and watch it. I know that's not a big numbers that, you know, some YouTube channels are doing, but it's pretty cool to me. You know, little old me. <laughs> but, um, that's a little update, guys. Again, it's my birthday, so I'm feeling really happy today and blessed to see another year. <sighs> blessed to still be breathing. Blessed to still be healthy in this time. You know, it sucks that I can't go out and do anything because I'm a cruiser. I will jump on a cruise and go somewhere with the quickness, <laughs> but I can't do it. And, you know, it's not the end of the world. It is really not the end of the world. Not being able to go on a cruise is a first world problem anyway. <laughs> so I'm not even worried about it. Um, I'm just blessed that I'm still working, you know, even though the trucking industry is is really volatile right now i'm still blessed to still be working and i'm blessed that i made a decision to go trucking in an in a fit in an industry that you know is always in demand somebody always needs a truck driver and i'm blessed that i stuck it out for the years that i did because i have you know the experience where i can pretty much go where i want i have my hazmats i want to get my triples and doubles i guess just because that just opens up more opportunity for me in case i want to go local or something i think I don't know but you know I'm glad I have it and if I do decide to get off the truck and if I keep my med card and everything and my driver's license clean I can always go back to it so I'll always have it in my back pocket so I am happy that I did that and if you're thinking about it I'll say hey just do it you know just do it even if you're thinking about just doing something different because that's what I did I graduated with my degree I was always working in some kind of office and I got tired it was stuffy I felt stagnant so I was like I want to drive cross country. And I was like, hey, I want to get paid for it. So <laughs> I might as well get paid for it. So I went trucking, totally drastic, freaked me out, you know, in the beginning. But you catch on and I totally, I am so totally glad that I did it. It literally paid off. Um, and it's a whole lot of freedom in it. It's a whole lot of fun in it. And if you're thinking about doing it, just do it. You know, you can always go back to the office if you want to, which I don't, <laughs> which I don't plan on unless it's my own office. I am working on some things in the background as far as having some more um, certifications under my belt. So, you know, always have a plan B, C, D, you know, don't stop. Learn everything until you can't learn anymore. But um, thanks guys again for my thousand subscribers and if you have any more videos questions comments concerns advice let me know i'm probably going to be starting another youtube channel soon but i'll i'll talk about that later you guys be blessed be safe and stay grateful and humble until next time bye